Hi, I'm Jason Cohen from Cohen Engineering. I'd like to take an opportunity to explain to you the pressure regulator system for the common automatic transmissions that we use in high performance applications. For our example, we're going to have a power glide here. Um, in a typical OE application, the power glide uses a hydraulic assist boost uh, regulator system where oil pressure uses a combination of this boost valve and a spring to control the movement of the pressure regulator. That's handy in OE applications because they can use the varying diameters on the boost valve to vary the pressure for different situations. For instance, tip, uh, pressure is typically increased when the transmission is put in reverse in an OE application. The problem with this system in a high performance application is that when we need the pressure to be consistent the most, which is in a high demand situation, like a gear shift or the application of the trans brake, when the transmission sees a pressure loss from the application of a clutch pack, the pressure supplying this boost valve goes down as well. So we get a compound effect of pressure loss. And that's why it's very typical when using a hydraulic boost assist pressure regulator in a transmission like the power glide, you'll see that when the trans brake is applied or when the transmission shifts from first to second, that there's a substantial pressure loss if you're data logging pressure. Our fix for that is to go with what we call a constant, fixed, or adjustable regulator system. The boost valve and sleeve is replaced with a solid sleeve, in this situation having an adjustable uh, seat. The softer spring is replaced with a much heavier spring rate. So in this application, pressure would be tuned by changing either the size of the boost valve or the rate of spring. And you can see at Cohen Engineering, for the power glide, we offer three distinct springs, color-coded. Red as the lowest pressure, orange our medium pressure, green our highest pressure. When that system is replaced with the adjustable system, now we change the amount of installed preload on the spring through our adjuster. What happens with this is that there's no compounding effect. Since we're not relying on a boost valve plus a spring to control the pressure, we get a much less drop in pressure when we have a shift or when we apply the clutch pack. And that means that your trans brake setup time is much quicker and your clutch pack application time is much quicker. And that's why for performance applications at Cohen Engineering, we exclusively use a constant fixed or adjustable pressure regulator.